James Webb Telescope's terrifying new discovery of city lights. Humanity has been searching for extraterrestrial life for a very long time. Researchers are looking for indications of life on the exoplanet Proxima b, which is located far away in space, using the brand new, extremely sensitive James Webb Satellite Telescope. These lights could provide definitive proof that extraterrestrial life exists on Proxima b. Given that our galaxy alone has over a quadrillion planets, life on a moon or another exoplanet in deep space is possible. In other words, it could be home to advanced alien life. On the other hand, the James Webb Telescope may be able to supply solutions to all of our mysteries because it recently discovered Proxima b, one of the closest and larger sized planets to Earth that resemble it. The strange anomalies known as artificial lights have worried the best brains in the space community. But what exactly are they? Is there proof that there is life beyond our planet? Is there another civilization in our star system? So brace up, because this journey into space will be intriguing. NASA scientists had no idea what they were getting into when they launched the cutting-edge James Webb Telescope from Guiana Space Center on December 5, 2021. Astronomers expect to discover signs of life in the atmospheres of distant planets and galaxies. They had no idea how profoundly our vision of the universe would change due to the JWST's early photos. The image of a mystery light captured by such an exceptional telescope could provide us with the evidence we need to verify the existence of life elsewhere in the universe. NASA just revealed the first JWST images, and American President Joe Biden aptly described the project as a fresh window into the evolution of the cosmos. Instead of presuming that there is a civilization at Proxima Centauri, why not look at its planets? Before JWST, there was no efficient telescope equipped enough for astronomers to look for them. They had no choice but to employ different techniques, including transit photometry and Doppler spectroscopy. Scientists recently discovered that Proxima b produces artificial light. Scientists were so surprised by these lights that they started to theorize that there could possibly be life on the dark side of Proxima b, and that this race may be more technologically advanced than our civilization. It is now feasible to analyze the exoplanet that is currently so challenging to locate at a distance of light with the JWST, which I am sure you probably know by now. The JWST's key advantage is its ability to look through dust clouds on the massive gold-coated mirrors it employs. The infrared rays will be reflected by them, creating an image that is more comprehensive to humans. Our galaxy alone has almost a quadrillion planets, to assess whether Proxima b is potentially habitable, we must first establish what an exoplanet is. Exoplanets are planets found beyond our solar system. These planets are very mysterious and move in unpredictable ways. The rocky planet Proxima b orbits the M-class red dwarf Proxima Centauri, which also has a habitable zone. Scientists believe that Proxima b confirmed in 2016 is located in Proxima Centauri's habitable zone. Proxima Centauri has a mass that is roughly 12.5% that of the Sun and an average density 33 times that of the Sun. With a radius that is one-third our size and around one-sixth the Earth's mass, Proxima b orbits Proxima Centauri in approximately 11.2 Earth days, traveling 7 million kilometers, or just 5% of the distance that the Earth travels around the Sun. Proxima b is 4.6 million miles from Proxima Centauri, compared to 93 million miles between the Earth and our Sun, and is 1.27 times as massive as the Earth. Its distance from our Sun has increased by 5% as a result. Do scientists now believe that Proxima Centauri, which is 44,000 times fainter than the Sun, will host life? Proxima b's surface is thought to be in the habitable zone, which permits the presence of water. They also imply the existence of earthly ground, such as mountains. Proxima is currently 4.24 light years away from Earth, despite appearing to be quite far away. Proxima b is tidally locked and traveling synchronously. Proxima b has two sides, one of which is constantly lit and the other is always black, to put it simply. Now that you know the motion is equivalent to how the moon appears on Earth, you can appreciate what a magnificent exoplanet Proxima b is. The most obvious proof of the existence of life on our planet Earth is the brightness of lights when viewed in a night location. Our cities emit light into the universe. 
The issue is that the former telescopes could not detect photons from distant solar systems, but thanks to the JWST that is more equipped to do that. A tidally locked planet civilization would most likely need to concentrate on upgrading its lighting system. Proxima b could use very powerful orbital mirrors to reflect the sunlight from the planet's day side to its night side. The reflected sunlight can then be detected by the JWST, but this is still speculation. Scientists assume that the hypothetical society on Proxima b uses a type of light similar to the LEDs seen on Earth, which is undeniably human-made. If the artificial nightside illumination on Proxima b equals 5% of the natural dayside illumination, JWST's detection rate will increase to 95%. Based on our findings thus far, the JWST can distinguish artificial light with an accuracy of 85%. I know what you're thinking. The light from Proxima Centauri is about as bright as setting a firefly near stadium lights, yet it is about 20 times fainter than our sun. On a cosmic scale though, even that much light is substantial. In comparison, artificial lighting on Earth accounts for only 0.001% of the reflected stellar illumination. In other words, a civilization on Proxima b as bright as ours would be undetectable by the JWST. Because Proxima b's orbit is so close to that of Proxima Centauri, the planet could be tidally locked, with one side always facing the star and receiving light, and the other always in the dark. A tidally locked planet civilization would most likely need to concentrate on upgrading its lighting system. Proxima b could use very powerful orbital mirrors to reflect sunlight from the planet's day side to its night side. The reflected sunlight can then be detected by the JWST, but this is still speculation. Artificial lighting would be required to support a technological culture on Proxima b due to its perpetual night sight. The emergence of civilizations around neighboring stars is extremely unlikely, making this one of the longest of long shots. A civilization that grows somewhere else, on the other hand, may be identified by the artifacts it leaves behind on the planet it has chosen to investigate. We might be able to witness, for example, how the light of a distant world dwindles with a vast constellation of satellites, which is one of several techniques to detect the existence of extraterrestrial technology on another planet. Although these technological signals could be created by a comet impact or orbiting debris, you may see the same things happen on Earth as a result of the increasing number of satellites that we launch into orbit, atmospheric contamination from nuclear war, and other circumstances. Even if only 5% of Proxima b gets urbanized, there is still 10 times as much urbanization as there is currently on Earth, making it simple to locate an Ecumenopolis there. However, given their longer lifespans, current city development rates would reduce Earth's population to 5 within the next 100 years, which is practically a blink in cosmic time. We don't know how long technological civilizations will last, since... If an extraterrestrial civilization exists, it may already be at this degree of urbanization. Finding someone else to shine in the void increases our confidence that we will be able to keep the lights on, which is one of the driving motivations behind the search for alien intelligence. And on that note, we have come to the end of this video. Let us know in the comments section what you think is the origin of these lights, and if you think this is enough proof for extraterrestrial life. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, smash the subscribe button, and turn on the notification bell to get notified when we post a new video.